Epic Originals presents Cat Ninja Tales Smells Like Trouble Written by Marcy Colleen Illustrated by Derek Lofman Performed by Taylor Meskimen and Tom Rivera Cat Ninja Tales Smells Like Trouble Poorly trained amphibious armies, badly calibrated doomsday devices, Metro City's villains really reek at conquering the world. Lucky for them, there's a doc who's always happy to patch them up and hand out friendly advice without making a stink about it. She spends her days taking care of two kids and a pampered house cat. But when trouble calls, she answers as one of Metro City's finest. She's more than just mom. She's... Going to be heading out soon. There are leftovers for dinner in the fridge. Woohoo! I won! No way! Let's go again. Best of seven. Do you have to be a superhero to get a goodbye hug around here? Have a good shift at work. See you when you get home. We sure are happy to see you. It's been super busy all day. Excuse me. I don't mean to be a pain, but I'm in pain here. Yeah. How much longer do we have to wait? What did you say? Ribbit. Did I do that? Lex Lagoon? We'll see you now. So, what brings you in today, Mr. Lagoon? Let's just say my recent plan backfired, and I think I may have melted my nose hairs. Why don't you tell me what happened? You mean, why don't I spill the beans? Nudge, nudge. All right. In all seriousness, it started out as a perfect day to enact my plan for world domination. Or rather, hold my entire town hostage to demand respect. For I am a human being and will no longer be the but of your jokes. With the push of this button, you will all come to your silent but deadly end. <laughs> okay, okay, maybe it's not exactly the end, but it won't be pleasant. I can tell you from experience. Oh, nuts! Do you want us to call 911? And that's the whole enchilada. They always said I wouldn't amount to a hill of beans. I guess they were right. I'm just a pea brained failure. Why don't you lie here and rest? I'll be back to check on you in a bit. So, why don't you start by telling me what happened? Exam room one. Apparently, not everyone is in the holiday spirit these days. Exam room two. I told him not to fidget with the doomsday device in the living room. And the next thing you know, boom! My ears are still ringing. Exam room three. You wrote here that you were training your new amphibious army when a frog accidentally jumped down your throat? Brilliant. And you said this was all in the name of... World, World Domination! Brilliant. Okay then, let's get you fixed up. Two drops every six hours. 
May I have a green one? How's my favorite patient doing? Kind of stinky, actually. You ever stop and wonder what it's all for? Every day. Ah. A few stories later. And I said, still think I should come out of my shell? <laughs> I like you, Lex. But the whole world domination thing, seems like everyone's doing it. It certainly isn't what it's cracked up to be. And the pay is peanuts. You are such a smart, funny human being. You're unique. Maybe it's time to do your own thing. Thanks for listening. It was a gas. You've got me thinking. Maybe stand-up comedy is my thing. Uniquely yours, Lex. How was work, Mom? Okay. Pretty standard, actually. Just another boring day at the office. <laughs>